Hey, good morning, friends. Mark Holmes here with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo. And as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, man, you know it does not work without you guys. So let's get open for business and let's wake up the football guys here on another football Sunday. You know, the season is too short, although the NFL is trying to increase it by two weeks. The NFL has its way in the collective bargaining agreement. What we will actually see is the football season starting the week after Labor Day, but not finishing up till the end of February. Wow. So playoffs would be all of February. And instead of having not one, you'd actually have two bye weeks. It's kind of funny because I, I actually suggested this, although it wasn't a 17-game schedule, I suggested the way you can end up increasing revenue was by making it an 18-week season with 16 games and add a bye week. And by doing so, what you could do is whenever teams are playing on Thursday night, they could have a bye week before Thursday night. And if teams are going to be playing in London, that they would be able to go to London the week before, get used to being in London and stuff, be ambassadors for the game, and not have that whole thing. So they're talking about having eight regular season games in London. And wait, there's more. If you act now, NFLPA, some of the other things they're talking about doing is having neutral site games for each team. Excuse me, for each team. So you may see games in like Alabama and Notre Dame and Mexico and Canada in places that you normally don't have football to kind of spread the, 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 the following and try and grow that next generation. And by doing so, this is what I told you guys before. What was going to happen is that next uh, television contract, they'll be streaming those games. Yeah. Mm-hmm which means more money for the kitty for the NFL. But anyway, they've got, they're talking about that for January. That's when they'll be negotiating again. We'll, we'll wait and see how all that goes. But, you know, the NFL is going to be making concessions to the players, you know, having bigger rosters and things like that and, you know, loosening up some other things. I bet you marijuana testing will be one of those things and so on. But anyway, they'll work it out. You know, we're talking about millionaires and billionaires working out their money while here it is, us, Joe the fan, are just hoping that we can get a win on Sunday. Now, the Cowboys, we've been up and down. And you can understand losing to maybe Minnesota, losing to Green Bay, and losing to uh, New Orleans because those are top teams. Those are definitely playoff teams, okay? You don't want to lose to them, but you can understand that. The only outlier is, as I look up here, is there's the helmets for the teams we've lost to. The ones we beat have been the dumpster, is the, the jet game. But every team has just like a bad game. But from here on out, it doesn't matter what we did before in those games. You cannot change the fact that we lost to Kirk Cousins, that we lost to the Jets, that we lost to uh, the Saints or the Packers. You can't. All you can deal with is this moment forward. And what you need to deal with with this moment is getting a win with the Detroit Lions. And not just squeaking by with a win. What you need to do is you need to be clicking on all cylinders. Because it seems like the Dallas Cowboys, through the course of the last 8, 10 years, it never seems to be where we can actually put a complete game all together. Think about last year. The first half of the season, the defense was playing lights out and keeping us in games. Second half of the season, the offense started coming together, but then the defense started waning. Imagine if we had had the defense and the offense peaking at that same time, going into the playoffs. If the Rams weren't able to run rough shot over us in that game, where we would be. And as we've gone through, for the most part, this season, the offense, more yards than anybody else. The offense is playing lights out. The defense, now they can go through and say, you know, we're only averaging like 250 yards in the air against teams, which is great, but that's one of those statistics that's a little deceptive because when you have running backs that are running for 100-plus yards, you're going to feast on running, and you're not going to pass the ball quite as much. But... If the defense, and the defense is better than what they've shown, 
The biggest problem for our defense is that we just can't seem to get any luck when it comes to takeaways. Takeaways are money in the bank. Takeaways are game changers. Fortunately, we haven't been turning it over much on offense. We are basically at zero when it comes to takeaways. And that needs to change. We need to start jarring the ball loose, knocking the ball loose. We need to start swatting the ball away from the quarterback. We need to just get some interceptions. By hook or by crook, we've got to get some takeaways. That will change things dramatically. I always say a takeaway can be worth as much as 14-point swing. It's literally that big. If a team is driving down there and about to get a touchdown and you take the ball away and you go down the other way, that's 14 points. Or at least 10 if you get a field goal. And it's a momentum changer. And we have not had very many momentum changers for our side. We've had deflation happen on our side where you have Randall Cobb go into the end zone and have it called back. We've had bad calls where guys are getting molested going down the field and instead of getting a flag, you end up getting an interception. We've had times where our quarterback is just getting lit up and instead of getting a 15 yard penalty, you get nothing. Very rarely do we have something that happens that really ignites the team. And that's where we need to go now. And the third part of our problem is, is our special teams haven't been very special in a long time. We need for our special teams to be difference makers for our team. And right now, we have some of the poorest, poorest special teams in the NFL. We got to get it together today. We have to start getting on a roll because time is beginning to run short and we don't have much time left. You need to get this game under your belt, feeling good because next week you got the defending world champions in New England. And it doesn't get easier after that. I'm hopeful. I think our team gets it together and gets a win. We'll be at Lucky's. Um, uh, I'll be there probably about 12 o'clock, so I've got about two hours to get my stuff packed up, ready to rock and roll. Uh, I'm not sure if E2 Blue, I'm not sure if anybody else is going to be there with me, but I will be there watching, cheering on my Dallas Cowboys and still believing in them. Um, I had another point, and I, I, my, my brain is just kind of fried. I, I overslept this morning, and I had this strangest dream last night. I was dreaming that I was playing flag football. And somehow, Lord Brunson was on my team. I, I, I just don't understand it. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Do you, any of you guys know? We were playing flag football, and Lord Brunson was on my team. I don't know. I, I woke up was like, what the F? Well, I'm hoping that my quarterback throws for 300 yards. I'm hoping that my running back runs for 120 um, and that Tony Pollard gets 50. I'm hoping that my defense doesn't give up more than 60 yards on the ground and I'm hoping that we get two takeaways because it would be nice for once to go into Monday hangover Monday morning and not have to be here defending the Cowboys and everything else and looking and dealing with a crappy game but you all know it's our Dallas Cowboys. And nothing is ever easy. So be sure to tune in at uh, about 12.45. We'll start a live stream. Uh, if you're in town, uh, drop on by Lucky's and hang out. Have some chicken wings and uh, give us your thoughts on the Dallas Cowboys and what you think and where we need to go from here. I'm Mark Holmes, and well, happy game day. <laughs>